Hi Leos, welcome back to my channel. We're getting right into your reading today, Leos. I do have to say that all personal readings will be closed until Mercury Retrograde is over because Mercury Retrograde has been kicking my butt. If you guys do not know, I am ruled by Mercury and Mercury just always is rough for me so I don't read if my energy is off. So they will reopen on Sunday, October 2nd. And um, yeah, I will keep posting content, but for now, personal readings will be closed, Leos. All right, I see a King of Cups here. There's a water sign that's currently thinking about you. You could have them blocked or you guys are just aren't in communication. An ending has happened. They're obsessing over this. They see you shining bright, um, Leos. You know, um, single, happy, independent, got your money right, got everything going for you. You are completely unbothered. Well, this person is bothered by that. We have Capricorn in here as well. I said Scorpio. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse for them and they're not feeling really right without you. Leos. You, some of you could have gotten some great advice here. You know, keep your boundaries up and don't let this person in. So your boundaries are up. You're exceeding right now. You know, you're winning. Keep being unbothered, Leos, because this person is going freaking crazy here, all right? There is a new moon in Libra uh, tomorrow, Sunday. So it's all about partnerships, right? Finding that balance. New moon, especially in Libra, is all about a reset and a restart here. So we have an, yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. A new moon. <laughs> A uh, romantic cycle is beginning for you. New moon and Libra want to come right out as we speak here. Okay. You guys see that? My camera is... I don't know. I, I see my camera is like blurry, but it, it's focusing in and out. But I think you guys are good. We have the King of Cups here. Yeah, they're thinking about which cups to give you. Wow. Ace of Wands energy. Beautiful energy. And the Page of Pentacles. So this King of Cups is, you know, has their eye on you. And as you can even see with this... King of Cups here, he's staring right at that cup. And again, trying to figure out which cup to give you here. So this king, it's king, <laughs> kinging, what is that even a word? They're trying to figure it out. They're overwhelmed because it's like, does, does Leo still care about me? You know, this is also a new suitor that you could have just met. The chemistry is off the charts, the emotions, you know, everything is so great. And it's like, they really want to talk about the future, like where do they see things going with you, all right? For those of you who are dealing with a connection here. And you know, you guys both don't want it to end. And it's like, I feel like if you're in a new connection right now, don't let the past get to you, right? Block the past out this person is not your past here. Sometimes we can get triggered and, wow, this person is so good to us. Like, are they going to break my heart? And then we are, you know, we get closed off. So, you know, just stay, stay open. Stay open. I want to clarify this two of pentacles, four of wands, eight of pentacles. Are you worried about money? Are you worried about stability of the future? This could be the conversation that you both had with each other in regards to our future. This is why things did not work out here. Holding on a thin thread about this. Let's see what's going on with you, Leos. Clarify the Four of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles here. We have the will, a new beginnings and the delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. Yeah, you're really bothered about, again, a situation doesn't have to be love or just, you know, a work situation. Maybe you left here, maybe you left a job situation to um, become independent or a business owner here. Don't be afraid of all the, you're thinking about all the bad things that happened in the past, Leo. So why are you doing that? You're giving me a headache. Don't do that. Everything is going to work out here. Don't don't block yourself from your blessings here, right? Let the will turn in your favor because you're the only ones that's holding yourself back, Leos, from your wish fulfillment, all right? The number nines are here. Um, nine of coins, nine of cups. A chapter is ending. Number nines represents a change, right? A shift here. A completion. We have the seven of wands. Know your worth. Yeah, you're going to be going through a major transformation, Leos, where it's like the heartbreak of the pain at the past, you're becoming stronger. You know, you have learned your lessons from it and you have developed peace. This could be why this person is so unbothered because you blocked them out. You're not talking to them like you don't want nothing to do with them, Leos. I'm getting some type of manipulation here. It could be within a third party. Three of Cups is here. Um, but again, I think that third party was more so their job, finances, time, kind of gaslighting you in that situation, right? You guys will go out and then they'll say they'll call you or we're going to meet up, the, you know, a few days 
later and then they just no show or just ignore you or just space out energy right you know you see that now again nine of wands 999 angel number look at what's clearing out whatever finances or a business endeavor you're doing keep doing it don't hold yourself back emotionally we have the three of wands and the ten of swords you're going to manifest exactly what you want once you kind of get rid of this energy right now that no longer serves you. And that's, again, it's the energy of thinking about the past here, right? Someone is really sick over you. This person's going through it. And look at them just waiting. Just like, and some, the this past person's literally watching you live your life, become happier, and it's disturbing the hell out of them. Can you imagine? They're going through it. And they're like, I don't even know if I can even get Leo's back. Yeah, heart to heart conversations. They want to talk. This Capricorn definitely wants to talk here. Seven of Pentacles. But again, lovers in reverse and the high priestess. They're not, they're thinking intuitively, like, I don't know if this is the right choice. Like, Leo's living their life and having fun. If you're dealing with the Gemini or Earth sign, they're like, how can I get this to grow? And it's like every time they think about how, they they get stuck. So it's hard moments coming in for them, but it's like, aha, I, mean, I develop a plan here so maybe leos can kind of hear me out they're ready to release this burden yeah they may ask you out they may just say you know what effort i'm gonna just ask leos out they're gonna try to get you in a public setting here yeah to try to renew this because they're like Le leo's not gonna make me feel stupid in public but <laughs> yeah yeah right your strength card is in reverse leo this is your energy you're gonna turn them down ten of cups better is coming for sure but someone really wants to do, at least develop a friendship back. Libras, I'm getting like there's a soft side if you guys were friends first. But don't miss the red flags here. This person is like a, a pathological liar. We have the Will of Fortune in reverse with the Ten of Wands and the Two of Cups. Yeah. Spirit is saying to let this go, Libra. Oh, Leos. Um, <laughs> no, I was looking at new Libra while I said Leos. Because new is coming in. Um, you could be going on a trip soon or travel. Have fun, okay? Have fun. Don't get confused or lost in this mess. Enjoy your time. And again, the only way you can clear this out right now is to brace your Queen of Cups energy, right? Give the love that you seek from another person and start giving that to yourself, Leos. You have to be more gentle with yourself too, right? Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting and wait. The timing is not quite right yet. The spirit wants you to focus on yourself, right? Right now, this new moon in Libra is going to teach you a spiritual lesson where it's like, okay, a new romantic cycle is beginning, but I got to figure out what I want first, right? So have faith in that. Any other advice for my Leos here? Senator Raphael, yeah, love and blessings are soon to fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members, your happily ever after is coming. Look, but it's all about when you have to learn that spiritual lesson here. We have strength card. Here's your energy. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. That will get you out this confused state here, right? Because right now you're kind of stuck in this like longing, this regret. And again, this doesn't have to be your energy. It could be this other person's. We have peace. It's time for you to release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God and find your peace again, Leos, all right? I'm going to leave it there, guys, and have a wonderful week.